Hey you guys, this is Mariofa and I'm back with another video. How are you all doing? I hope that everybody's doing fine. I hope that you are healthy. You're in a positive mind state. If not, take some refreshments, take some snacks. Let's sit down and talk now before i start with my video let me ask you to subscribe to this channel you're already here you already seen a couple of videos you already like what you see so hit that subscription button also you can of course hit that notification bell because when you hit that you will be updated on any new videos that i'm producing so go ahead okay so it has been a while that i've posted a uh, creative 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 talk with you all it has been something like what two weeks two weeks I think yeah and that has been actually with a very good reason that I have not posted for the last two weeks unfortunately in my family circle my very close close family circle someone passed away they transitioned and I have to say it just really had an impact on me and I decided to take the time off and to grief and to be around friends and family, of course. I understand that for a lot of people, being busy or being at work or distracting themselves with other things can be a good way to, you know, just get your mind off things, to not think about the grief, not go through the pain. But for me, yeah, that was not the way to do it. So I decided to take some time off. The person in uh, our family was someone who was just really, you know, we, I learned to adore this person very much. Didn't know the person for a very long time. However, to see someone who is so open and wise and loving and caring and funny, and also just a really peaceful type of person, you can learn a lot from that in a very short period that you get to know someone. So yeah, unfortunately the person was terminally ill, which means that we, what you get to see is somebody going through their phase where they are slowly saying goodbye to everyone. And um, I have been in that particular situation before where a close, close, close acquaintance also passed away and was also terminally ill. And it's just very confronting. It's such a intimate, honest, raw, phase of someone's life and to be witnessing what is happening and all the things that are changing and what it eventually will mean it makes you just be so you know you're just so totally different <laughs> in in that particular situation that you're like you know what right now i just i can't so i decided to take a time off and you know to really grieve um, also just to have those moments with the family members around me to talk you know share those moments that we had how we feel about it i think that it's really important to open yourself up to your feelings not to hide them not to shove them away um like i already said in the beginning of the video for certain people it can be a really good thing to you know get back to work and work themselves through what they are going through. For me, personally, that's not the way that I want to do it. I really want to take my time and just give everything a play. The reason why I wanted to talk about it in this video is not to be all depressed and you know, start this really heavy video. However, I do want to exchange you know, my experience with you on how it can impact your creative life, your artistic life, and that you know, drastic, very impactful events like Death, the passing of someone can have actually a great impact on you if you allow it if you can see the beauty and the gift of it so there are three things that I've seen in it and I would love to share them with you so the first thing that I want to talk about is the fact that to take time is one of the things that is just perfectly normal it's okay now we already know that we're living in a 24 7 type of culture type of world we are constantly busy we are constantly on the move 
we are constantly working creating etc 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 and we just do not take the time when certain drastic things happen in our lives you know things that can really have an impact on us artists well most artists will have the tendency to be really upon themselves you know we have our own little cave where we seclude ourselves from the world so that we can create so where we can leave everything behind where we can have our own imaginary world and create the most beautiful things that you can think of however these drastic moments make you realize that you are just as much needed for others in the process as you need others in that particular process and it doesn't necessarily have to be with death it can be for instance when you lose a job or you know when you have a divorce or relationships break up or you know whatever drastic impactful event there is in your life these are the moments that when you take time for yourself and you take them with others if it's possible it's actually the best thing to do I see for myself personally I'm talking about myself that working myself through something or you know throwing myself back into the work as soon as possible is not the right way to go about it to have that moment where I can just you know let my emotions come up and let it be whatever it is it, it, it forces me to think about what is happening around me to be really in the moment to feel my body to feel my heart to feel my mind to you know to remember all those good memories that I have also coming closer to the people that are around you like I already said a lot of times we are really secluded we you know want to have the time that we want to have for ourselves and we want other people to understand that now how unfortunate it is for these drastic moments to have that impact on us it are these times that can actually be very beautiful and very opening and loving and caring to see those people around you that actually need you in the process and you need them as well the second thing element in this whole process is the fact that i am grateful i cannot stress how important it is to be grateful just have gratitude now listen it is something that it is talked about a lot and it begins to sound like a cliche, right? Be grateful. Uh, just be so thankful. Every, you know, everything that comes through it, be positive. And you cannot deny the fact that when you get up in the morning, you take a good, good tug of fresh air. You get up by yourself. You can take care of yourself. You can cook for yourself. You eat. You can laugh. You can get up and move from one place to the other when you're in a phase where you see someone go through their process of gradually deteriorating and seeing their body just changing and deteriorating it is so confronting because there's nothing that they can do about it but just gracefully put themselves in the place where they are just slowly taking in what's going on I cannot start to imagine how that is for someone to see that where they first could just make a sandwich someone else has to make a sandwich or they cannot even eat the sandwich because they're just too sick you know where they first could you know jump up and go to the city go to the mall go out or anything else it's, it's really hard without the companionship of someone who is a caregiver a caretaker or you know really hiring in professional help to come and make sure that you are taken care of I cannot start to imagine what that is and yet I have seen it a couple of times and it's still always so it's a humbling moment it's a very humbling moment to realize that you sit in a body a vessel it's like a spaceship that you just can control and you, you know say well I want to go to place B C E D and you go it is such a grateful moment that you can breathe and let the next thought come to you so that you can take action I mean have you thought about it today I'm not saying that you have to think about it each and every day you know there are so many things happening right now and 
we are in the middle of a situationship you know it, it, of course it's it's really hard but isn't this then the right moment to be like you know you know what i am here and it is a good place to be in because now i have the time and the space to be very creative now i have the time and the space to you know really be strategic about what my next move is going to be as a professional artist or a beginning emerging artist or maybe you are a collector and you're like you know what i'm very grateful that i'm on this channel and get to meet this person who's talking about her art and i'm meeting new different types of artists this is the time this is the moment that we can be grateful for that so yeah like I already said in the first part, it is sad that these type of situations will force us to be even more conscious of it, but I'm not mad about it either. I think it's just a beautiful way of being extra, extra grateful, extra grateful for where I am and where I can go and not just be sitting and being, and being you know, nagging about, well, I'm still here and I want to go there. It's actually the opposite. You're here and you still have so much to do and such a beautiful way to go. It's a total different way of looking and being grateful for it. Third and last element in this process that I think has impacted me artistically and just on a human level in a great way is the fact that I am present. You have to be present in the moment. You know, you have to be here in and now. As much as we are thinking about the next step, as much as we are thinking about things that we could have done, wanted to do, didn't want to do, couldn't have done, you know, fill in the blank, you're now here. Here is the now. And if you really go f f philosophical into it, the only thing that you have is now. It is the present. The future hasn't started. The past is already what it is. So the only thing that you have is now. What I also believe is that your mind will become a lot less chaotic. You're a lot less inclined to go in all different directions of what you need to think about and where you want to go to and what your next plan is and what is the next canvas going to be. I know that I was not thinking about those things at all and I was perfectly okay with it. Um, would I know what the impact about it would be? I don't know. Will, it, will I see what will happen if I don't post as much as I wanted to post or was not on it? I don't know. Would there happen something if I don't create a video to build this platform? I don't know. It's all unknown, but I'm perfectly fine with it because at the moment I needed to do what was necessary. And, you know, this is something I tell my son as well you know you have to take things one day at a time we want so much but yet we sometimes forget that as a human being we are fragile and we are humble so do what you can in the moment that you are in instead of wanting to be into the next moment so it will take the foot off the gas sometimes we're just going straight forward without stopping and we're not even enjoying the whole scenery around us at all so being present is a gift people it is a gift imagine yourself constantly being in that mindset to you your next thing the next thing the next thing what's next what is next where do you need to go where do you need to go what's the next to do but you're constantly in that mindset imagine that it will drive you absolutely crazy you will not enjoy whatever it is that is on your path right now. You would absolutely have nothing to look forward to and to have like little moments where you're just giggling because you think you're gonna make it, you know, you think you're gonna do something. Present is indeed a present. Fun attended. <laughs> okay, so that was my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It is something different normally we are talking about other things but right now i just wanted to take the moment to of course first tell why i wasn't present for the last two two weeks and also of course just take this along in the journey i don't think that me hiding or not talking about it you know it's going to help me i think it's a very opening and you know very you know fulfilling way of looking at my own journey that everything has a part and has an influence on it and that is also what this channel is about 
I don't have to put everything out there, but what I am willing to put out there, I will gladly share with you and also see where there are moments for you and also for me where we can learn, where we can share. How do you look at it? Do you think about how do you think about it? How does that have an impact on you? Have you been in this particular situation? That is the reason why I'm sharing these things on this platform. There's so much that we can learn from each other, except just the artistic process and the things that we are doing. Now, this channel is by no means a, a way for me to say, this is what you need to do and this is how you need to do it and where you need to do it. Absolutely not. You're an adult, you have a choice to take it or leave it. I just think that these are really three great elements that we all can use right now at the moment. And it is a suggestion, you know, just listen to it and see how you can apply it. You know, let me know how you feel about it and how you think about it and if it helps for you. That's all that has been my message for now. Before I go, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe to this channel. You're already here, you already like the video, so subscribe to it. Next to that subscription button, you will find a notification bell. And when you click on that, you will know whenever I post another video. Good thing to do, so go right ahead. And of course, when you want to follow me in the social sphere, you can go to my Instagram, you can go to my Twitter, you can go to my Facebook, any of these platforms, all of these platforms is all good to me. So I'd like to see you over there and join the platform. That's it. Hope to see you next time and have a good, blessed day. Bye.